All right, you guys. Um, I'm wearing it. The infamous 592. This is our class jersey. It was everything, and it still is everything. I love it. That's my favorite thing from Lily Training. But anyways, um, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys, especially my Fletzy family. Well, my CVP family to be specific. Thank you for watching all the videos. If you haven't not, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Um, this video, I'm gonna keep it short. I'm just going to answer specific questions you guys ask me. And I promise I'm going to just answer every single one of them. Um, I know it's been so long. I had to really think about what I wanted to see here. You know, it's CBP stuff related. I had to be careful, but at the same time, I had to be honest. And I'm glad you guys asked me good questions that are easy to answer. So first, we're going to start with pre-academy. Pre-academy, when you fly, that ticket is from coming from your pocket. Your hotel or Airbnb, I did Airbnb. It was cheaper for me. Um, I, it was like a little difference. It wasn't that big of a difference, but it was still something. So I did um, pre-academy was supposed to be two weeks, but we had to leave on that Thursday. So we ended up doing eight days of pre-academy. Left pre-academy. If you guys want more questions on that, please let me know. If you have questions on anything I talk about today, just write the questions down. Comment in the comment below, and then I'll probably do another video answering the questions easier. Um, so we left on, we fly on Thursday, so we did the first week, and then the second week, we did Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, so on Thursday, we flew to, well, I flew to Jacksonville, um, there will, Flitzy will send a bus to pick you up, it could be you alone, it could be like 20, 40 people on the bus, so it all depends, there usually two bus at it, well, when I flew to Jacksonville, there was two buses there. I don't know about Savannah. I did not fly to Savannah that day. Um, we got there. They picked us up from the airport. Went straight to training to flight C. Got there. Checking in. Could take about an hour. You've been on how many people on the bus again? When we checked in, I was on Taj. When you get there, you figure it out. If you're already there, you already know. With Taj, you do have a, a roommate. Now that we're talking about roommate, just trying to get along with your roommate. I It's not like I didn't get along with my roommate, but we didn't talk as much. We communicate what needed to be communicated. You know, if that makes sense, but we're in bestie or whatever. But some of you probably will be bestie. Doesn't matter to me. I'm grown. I don't care. But we've done what we had to do, and we we out there. Well, I'm out of there. I think she's back and flexing because she fell the first time. She felt she felt her run, so I'm not happy about it. I'm just saying, I got the hell out. But um, so you got there. Make sure you get along with everyone. Um, so on that was Thursday. On Friday was literally the first day of class, kind of. So we had to pick up uniforms, etc. They give you most of your equipment, most of your belt equipment. We didn't get everything on Friday. I think we on Monday when we're back we start getting more stuff that whole following week is getting everything that you need for training like a PT outfit I mean PT uniform etc um what else with now that we're talking about uniform um I know you guys from Facebook and from even me um we had a group chat on Facebook where they send like things to buy for training um, if you already have, that's fine. But if you have it, keep in mind when it comes to those black t-shirts. Um, every class, I guess it goes with based on the class supervisor who lead, who's in charge. You could, you might require to wear a crew neck or a v-neck. Our class, we had to do crew neck, but there was other class who decided to do v-neck. So if you haven't purchased any black t-shirts, um, you don't have to. You could just wait until you get there. And when your class voted or finalized on if it's crew or v-neck, then you can go ahead and purchase it. I mean, it's not that expensive, but I would just say save you a few dollars. Some classes, well, when I was ready, to, when we were getting ready to graduate, probably like two weeks before graduation i noticed certain classes they were wearing like white t-shirts under so again it's really based on your team lead or your supervisor whoever made the decision and voted on it so 
if you want, you can purchase it before. You can have all of them, variety, have it, whatever is available. Whatever they ask for, then you already have it. Um, and then again, they give you all the uniforms, um, stuff like that. Um, cell phone use, someone asks, can you bring your cell phone? No. From 7.30 to 11.30, make sure your cell phone is turned off. Don't have it on you at all. Trust me, you will regret it if you have it on you. Keep it on your backpack. Um, 11.30 to 12.30, you can do whatever you want with your cell phone. And then from 4.30 to, again, back in the morning, you can do whatever. They don't care. As long as you are ready in class, no cell phone from 7.30 to 11.30, from 12.30 to 4.30, you are set you are good to go so after class someone asked me questions i'm trying to remember every questions i was asked after class you are free to leave campus do whatever you want as long as you back in class uniformed and ready to learn the next morning you are good to go so i'm gonna say this that's like mm, make sure you get along with your roommate on that because something happened with my class people will snitch on you just be careful all right, just people will snitch on you, on you. Just know who your roommate is and blah blah blah, etc. You get what I'm saying. You just get along with everyone. You will not, to be honest, you will not get along with everyone. You can try, but again, there's different personalities there. <laughs> Y'all gonna bump heads. <laughs> like we are the infamous for a reason. A lot happens. So if you put five nine two, you know. <laughs> um, what else? I was asked class um in class so class will be divided in bravo and alpha if you're an alpha or bravo whatever class you are you will be spending more time with those people in that session so it's two session one class two sessions i was the bravo so i spent most of my time with bravo you still will have class with alpha every now and then but 90 percent of the classes will be with uh bravo if you're in bravo you'll be with all the bravo classmates and alpha will be with, all with alpha again um that's with everything training like uh, firearms everything in general once you divide it 90 percent of your classes you'll be with these people just try to get along with them you will not but try your best and be open-minded over there um what else um fitness so <laughs> <laughs> I struggled uh, a little bit when I got there. Not a little bit. I was this literally this close to just quit, um, but I didn't. Obviously, um, I struggled with the run because I never run on a track before. I've used to run on a treadmill. I had my time down to like thirteen on the treadmill, and then when I got to Flexi, I couldn't run, and I had shin splints, which I didn't know a thing. Like, I really didn't know anything about shin splints until I got there. So I was in restriction for like two weeks, which all lasted to almost like three weeks because I was in so much pain. My feet were swollen. They put me in restriction. I couldn't do a lot of fitness, like PT activities and stuff like that. So that was scary for me and a lot of other students actually went through it. It's normal to them, but if you haven't experienced it, it's like, oh my God, am I going to make it or not? So I did struggle with that. So make sure if you've been running on treadmill, you get adjusted to like running on a track. It's a different world out there. I'm telling you, it's a different world. And if you are struggling with it, like make sure you get on a diet, you're working out. Um, beside that, my sprint was good. My push-ups, some instructor wants you to go lower than others. So keep in mind if you have someone who's a pain in the ass. They might make you go through a lot, but if you have a very, you know, chill and good <laughs> instructor, then it'll be easier for you. My first push-up, my first PT, I mean fitness, I believe I did 29. The second one, I probably did like 16. That's because I stopped and my instructor was giving me a hard time. So we didn't even, I, I stopped, he stopped counting and I realized, I'm like, yo, you stopped counting, like what, what's going on? And I was like, forget it. It was midterm, didn't really care. And the final FGS, I had 32 push-ups again. And 32 was like, I stopped way before the, the one minute. So to be honest, you can do it. I mean, if I did it, you can do it. Cause I hated push I still hate push-ups. I hated it, I still do. It really doesn't matter to me. But the run, my advice to is keep running outside on the track. Though people like to go inside the gym, I know people who love 
running a treadmill, yeah, it's really not helping you with the final FGS. Um, what else? I think I answered most of the questions, to be honest. So if you guys have any more questions, please let me know. Some someone asked me if I'm still with CVV. To answer that question, I'm not in Miami anymore. I hope that answer your questions. And I'm not on the southwest border, so I'm somewhere cold. <laughs> it's it's like 37 degrees outside right now. So I'm somewhere on the north <laughs> northern <laughs> border. Um um, I had questions. Can you quit while you're at the academy? Yes, you can. If you decided that's not something for you, honestly, it's not easy. The whole training is not easy, but it's doable. Um, I've heard, not in my class, I've heard of people in a class, two classes after me, so it was like 594 or 595. They had one student who quit on the second day of training. So yeah, you can quit if you got there, you realize not for you. It's a lot of stress. If you're not used to stressful environment, it can take a toll on you. So if it's not your thing, I wouldn't encourage anyone to quit. But if you get to that point where you're like, this is not what you you know imagine what you had in mind what you thought it would be like if it's not your thing it's not your thing like i'm not gonna say okay just be depressed and be stressed all the time just if it's not your thing it's not your thing um and plus academy yeah you can quit plus academy the same thing a lot of people got to the job i got to the um i've got to the job and realized that's not my thing so have i quit i don't know Maybe I quit, maybe I didn't quit. But it's different. Like it took it took a while to realize, hey, this is what it is and do I really like it? Do I want to do that for the rest of my life? Those are questions that you should ask yourself. Ask yourself, sit down and be like, Is that really what I want to do? Then if the answer is yes, then keep going to training. Come to Plus Academy and Keep working it's not that it's I, I don't think it's a hard job I think it's an easy job but you got to make sure you love what you're doing um, if you guys have any more questions don't hesitate just comment below I promise I will answer the questions I finally have my cameras back from Miami I went to Miami pick up my camera so you guys will get some good quality content from now on thank you for watching I'll see you guys in the next video bye